one thing that I think not all patients seem to realize, maybe not necessarily even all their physicians, is that even if the LDL is well controlled on statin therapy, that there is still the potential for cardiovascular events. There's still residual cardiovascular risk. And maybe just ask Dr. Navarre for a brief comment on why that is. Why is it that there's still persistent risk? That is, if the LDL is lower to the ranges you mentioned before, say below 50 or so, why do events keep happening? Well, I think this gets back to the pathophysiology of cardiovascular events, that in um, people who already have established atherosclerosis, who have cholesterol deposited in arterial walls, those plaques um, can still rupture and, and thrombotic complications happen and progression of atherosclerosis can still happen with low LDL cholesterol requiring revascularization. So as great as these therapies are, they're not a panacea. It's probably uh, an important message for us that uh, we really should be doing a better job of preventing atherosclerosis in the first place. One of the numbers that I think is pretty striking is if you look at um, you know, clinical trials, which tend to recruit healthier participants that are adherent to therapy, that are well treated, you still see high event rates. So the Fourier trial looked at folks post ACS, almost everybody was on a high intensity statin. There were high rates of appropriate antiplatelet, beta blocker, ACE inhibitor use. And in the placebo arm at three years, 10% of patients had a hard cardiovascular event, so stroke, MI, or cardiovascular death. And if you look at certain subgroups of those patients, like those with polyvascular disease or cabbage or lots of other risk factors, those event rates are even higher. So, you know, it's, it's great that we have made the progress that we've made so far, but you still have plaque. That plaque can still rupture. And although LDL cholesterol reduction can reduce the risk, it doesn't eliminate it. Yeah, I think that's such a critical point. You know, when statins were first getting all the great outcome data, there were some that said, oh, you know, once we have statins and they're in widespread use, acute coronary syndromes will go away. And, and the same arguments were made when PCSK9 inhibitors were first being tested, but, you know, acute coronary syndromes haven't gone away. They haven't really gone anywhere. There's been some shifts in terms of proportion of STEMI going down and then STEMI going up. But, still a lot of acute coronary syndromes and other morbidity of cardiovascular disease. So yes, LDL control is important, but that doesn't end the discussion.